And reopening the Canada-U.S. border is the message behind a new ad campaign launched in the States and about to be seen here. CTV's Richard Madden on what's driving the person behind the ambitious push. Because the border is still closed, I lost my job. More than 14 months into the border shutdown, these American-style ads are about to hit Canadian airwaves. Prime Minister Trudeau, you promised enough vaccine to keep us safe. That wasn't true. Don't punish us for your mistake. The pressure campaign was launched by John Adams, who lives in Florida but owns a property on Vancouver Island he can't visit. So his ads urge leaders to come up with a reopening plan. President Biden and Prime Minister Trudeau kicking the can down the road for 14 months. We're not kicking this can any further down the road because you can keep on kicking it forever. You're going to have to change your game. But there's no change, at least for now. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said he wants at least 75% of Canadians vaccinated before restrictions get lifted. Roughly 62% of the population has received at least one shot. And conversations are ongoing constantly with the U.S. administration because uh, there is much eagerness to get back to normal on all sides. The ads that first ran in U.S. border towns rely on donations to buy the airtime. The message of job loss and painful separations is why Jaslyn DeClerc pitched in. She lives in Ontario, her partner in Ohio. They have a child together, but the pandemic keeps them apart. There's a lot that I can deal with, but seeing hurt on my kids just is a breaking point. Now, several U.S. lawmakers are pushing for President Biden to reopen the border by the July long weekend. But it appears to be a different story in Canada. A recent poll found nearly half of Canadians want to keep the border shut until September 